My first thought when I found out I was about to be a father was, oh my God, I don't know what I'm doing. Just the simple fact that like, I'm a, a teacher one day, and then the next day I'm a janitor in the house picking up toys and diapers and... All of this has been something that has allowed my love through each child to grow deeper and deeper. And I'm so, I'm so thankful for that. I'm so thankful for what children have taught me about love. I remember my uh, oldest daughter being two years old and uh, I just didn't know what to do. Uh, my wife was at choir rehearsal and I felt like we were detached. And I said, give me a hug. And she said, no, I don't want to give you a hug. And I said, oh my gosh, she's never going to love me. And I called up my friend and I said, hey man, I tried to hug her, she didn't want to hug me. She said, man, she's only two years old. Take it easy, bro. She's not going to always be that way. Being a dad is not an easy thing. You know, sometimes when my wife was away, I had to be there to comb hair that I didn't know how to comb. And one time I combed uh, hair out into a knot and then trying to get them ready for school, the knot got so thick and so tight, I couldn't undo it. So my solution, there was a pair of scissors near, I grabbed them, I cut, I cut off a strand of hair like this, only to have the teacher send my daughter home from school with a brush that day. She had told, she had told her teacher that her daddy had cut her hair because it was obvious, it was pretty bad, the chunk that was taken out. The teacher felt so bad that she sent home a note saying, this is the proper brush to use trying to comb out girl's hair. Your wife's gonna kill you. <laughs> Watching each one of my children develop into their personality, the things that they love and the things that they like and the things that they chase after makes me just amazed at like, just the fact that God has done that to him. He's given them personality. He has instilled them with just not being so robotic and all my children come from us, so they're all gonna be the same. No, they're all completely different on their different road, but ultimately, I get to be a part of witnessing their transformation, their growth, and it, it makes me so excited. It makes me so overwhelmed sometimes to say, I am, I am a father. Experienced bike rider. It took a little, about an hour, but we got this. She's gone. The most practical part about being a dad is being in their lives, to see their smiles, to, to hear their cries when they're you know, sad, to, to be present in their lives. When uh, I love that I could text them and they text me back, how you doing? Or oh, dad, I need to talk to you when you get home. I love to be in their lives and that they accept me into their lives. That's the most practical part about, you know, uh, fatherhood to me, is just being present in their lives. I remember when my first son was born, I was in the, the nursery staring into the eyes of this little baby who was looking back at me. And I, I, I can't even begin to describe how there was this impartation of grace that opened up my life and, and opened up my heart to a love that I didn't even know existed. And that love over the years with the second, a third, and a fourth child has only grown. And with each child, I, I have delighted in seeing every stage of life from holding kids to seeing them crawl, to walk, run, to be able to carry on. If they fail, to be there to support them when they feel like they can't move forward. I love being a father because it reminds me of who God is to me in my life. The more uh, I look to the Lord, the better I am at uh, being a dad. I could uh, look at God as, as love, and his love helps me to love. I love being a father because um, it's given me so many roles that I think I've never had the opportunity to experience. I get to be a part of witnessing their transformation, their growth. I have a role to play in their life. I have so many roles to play, and I love that. I love that. I've always been excited to, to be a dad, and with each opportunity, I, um, my voice had my mind blown at how God uses those special little lives to make his love real. And on this Father's Day, I want to encourage you. God's with you is to be a father. He's with you to help you understand what it looks like to, to, to father children and to, to be there to love them in the way that he loves you. My prayer is that his blessing would be upon you to be a son, that you might 
be the father that he's purposed you to be. Amen.